And we should be able to learn how to rebrand ourselves based on the competencies that we have. How can you increase your chances of being hired for a job that you do not have experience on? There is always the concept of transferable skills. So you list down what transferable skills do you have? What skills do you have now that would be needed by that job? So for example, virtual assistant, and now you are, let's say sales. Okay, so you are in sales, but you, you now have young kids, you want to stop working and you are looking at virtual assistant. What skills will a virtual assistant need that you now have? So let's say you're good with working with executives, because you have worked with executives, you understand their needs. You have you are you have experience on management. You are very good with um, scheduling. You are very organized, and you don't necessarily have to be a virtual assistant to be accepted. But you can highlight what competencies do you have that will help you succeed in the new job. So go for transferable skills. Go for knowledge. Go for 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 skills that would be needed in that new job. And then also, of course, highlight your attitude and your characteristics, your openness to learn. And then that should not limit you from applying to jobs that are not in your past experience. There is actually also a strategy on how they can write their resume. They should not go for the chronological, where it's you write your most recent job. They have to look at functional resume or a combination resume. So you highlight the function, you highlight the competency, and do not highlight the position. So for example, the ones who come from restaurants, and I can understand a lot of, of companies in that industry has been badly affected by the pandemic. So they're now looking to go into virtual because they're now um, from at home. Then they should redesign the resume. Instead of saying, I am a restaurant manager, which can, of course, very glaring, would be obvious that it's not aligned with a virtual assistant. They highlight um, team management, or they highlight conflict management, they highlight project management, they highlight their ability to navigate their different tools, different platforms, technology. So they highlight what a virtual assistant would need versus highlighting their, because usually resumes will highlight position and the job description, and they have to move away from that if they want to shift careers. I want to go more about on the resume writing because we have seen that a lot in our work. So let's say I, I have been in this business for 20 years, 15 years now. I do not know any other job. No, no other company will accept me. And that is a common roadblock in their mindset. You ha we have to start looking at lifetime employability and transferable skills. So transferable skills, it does not lock us to a certain role, certain industry, certain company. And we should be able to learn how to rebrand ourselves based on the competencies that we have.